Hello everybody, my name is Scott Wood and we'll be talking about meat. Well, you know that maybe everybody in the world knows that meat is something that's not really good because meat is made up from animals, right? But they still eat it. Meat is a really, really, really luxury food in the past decade. And now today is a kind of food that appeals in nearly every meal. And some people can't even consume food if there isn't meat. Well, today we're going to be talking about meat. The kind of thing that is terribly bad, but terribly good. Well, you know, meat is from raising animals, right? Well, those raising animals need a lot more land and produces a lot fewer calories than when we go grow plants for human consumption. Raising animals need a lot of lands, and if we take a lot of lands for the nature around, they would affect. The biggest cause is animal agriculture, which is driven by the consumption of meat. Meat, or these kinds of beef, pork, chicken, sausages, they are a really big cause in climate change. <laughs> Animal farming contributes 16.5% of all human generated greenhouse gas per emissions, which all of them combined together is more than all the emission produced by every car, bus, train, plane, truck, ship, two pins, and every other kind of transportation combined. That is a really, really, really big thing to think about. Because you know, this is a really big cause in the climate change. Climate change these days are really, really popular. But also, for these, it could be even growing more. And just by growing those kind of meats makes it to have a big emission. More than every car, bus, train, plant, truck, and ship combined. Every day. And every time. And also, it really affects onto the water because globally animal agriculture uses between 20 to 30 percent of all fresh water in the world that is a lot while in the united states farmers farm animal consume one half of all water used that means that they use 50% of the water in the United States. Like in the United States, in that year, people use 1 million liters of water. It's just an example. Those farmed animals consumed five, 500,000 liters of water. And that is a lot. And you know that in these days, you may know that the world is surrounded by water, but more, but more than a half of them are made up from salt, and those are salty waters. And just a really small percent of fresh water is inside that. And if we have animal agriculture growing up more, it's going to be really, really causing the water. But these days, lucky because we have scientists and labs, we have lab meats. Those are the kinds of meats that are not made up from animals. Second, is that usually you would see, what about organic meats? Probably organic meats are kind of better. Kinda, just kinda, not perfectly. Because those kinds of meats also is taken up from animals. But those kinds of animals and their 
that makes out the organic meat is usually grown in a better way and also is better for us to eat. Also, in the future, for maybe in the next few years, we would have what is called lab meat to be produces everywhere and in every place. That's just a prediction. So if in the next few years there aren't it, then remember, if you really need meat for something as a great amount of protein, and if your family have any tradition festival, then maybe you need meat, right? But if you really, really want to eat meat, then usually consume the chickens and the pork, since those are the since those meats are from the animals that are mainly grown for food. And remember, even if you have your pork or your sheep, then remember, eat it. The waste in the United States all combined together, one half of them is usually meat. Remember that. And so today we've talked about meat, an amazing food that is terribly bad for nature.